Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Uh, to start our morning off, we are going to allow our DARE-OTC program uh, to do the presentation of the nation's colors. So if you would please stand for that presentation, the national anthem, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, welcome everybody, I'm Scott Walters, the principal here at London High School. It's one of our uh, favorite days of the year with our seniors and we get to celebrate them and all of their success. Uh, this has been an interesting year to say the least and our students have survived and succeeded uh, through a lot of challenges and adversity and it is one uh, that everybody will remember. I would say the class of 2020 has nothing on them compared with uh, what they have done this year so we're extra proud of them and for them to accomplish all that we're going to talk about this morning is quite deep. So uh, thank you for being here and for allowing us uh, the chance to brag on your children in front of you. And uh, I know we do this in little spots here and there, but this is a good uh, culminating uh, kind of event where we get uh, to praise them and celebrate them in their last few, few days here before we send them out to do whatever is next. Um, it's a little dark in here. It, it just, Fun fact, our building gets hit by lightning a lot, um, usually on the weekends or at night when, when nobody's here, um, but it knocks out a lot of things and we have to get them fixed, and so right now we're without a few lights, so try not to get too sleepy, uh, we'll try to keep it exciting for you. There are some facts about the graduating class that are on the program, if you want to look at that. Uh, so. This is mostly a celebration of academic achievements. There are 356 uh, seniors graduating this year, actually a little bit of a smaller class compared to some the last couple of years. Um, but they are uh, going to be accepting, no, they have been offered a little under $11 million for the scholarships, which is uh, it's a lot of big chunk of change, um, and accepting um, close to $9 million you see there. Uh, we have 295 of those 356 seniors who are um, qualified to receive the HOPE scholarship, which is based on their GPA. Uh, seniors who are graduating as Tennessee Scholars, we'll, we will recognize them specifically this morning, but if they are um, a Tennessee Scholar, it means they have never been suspended out of school. They've had 95% attendance uh, for, the, for the four years. That's no more than 36 total days over their four years. They have to have a C average or above in all their academic classes and have to have completed 60 
hours or more of community service. Um, when we get to graduation, we have students graduating with honors. Uh, you can see them on the field with a different colored uh, tassel. We have 65 students who qualify uh, as, uh, as graduates uh, with honors. That means they met all of the college readiness benchmarks on their ACT. That's an 18 in English, a 22 in math, a 22 in reading, and a 23 in science. Uh, seniors, if you're graduating with honors, will you stand up so we can look at you and applaud you, please? You know you have this way to Alright, we also have something um, that you'll see graduation by a specifically colored tassel, and this uh, means that students are uh, at graduation with distinction. They have uh, done one of these things, at least one of these, earned a nationally or state recognized industry certification, participated in at least one of the governor's schools, which happens over the summer, uh, participated in one of the state's all state musical organizations, earned statewide recognition or award at a skill or knowledge based state tournament convention or competition hosted by uh, a statewide student organization. Be selected as a national merit finalist or semi-finalist. Attain a score of at least a 31 or higher composite on the ACT. Uh, attain a score of 3, 4, or 5 on at least two of their AP exams. And or earn 12 or more semester hours of college credit through dual enrollment. So if you are graduating with distinction, will you please stand? Ready to tackle 
what this world throws at them. All of these young men and women will receive more than $100,000 in college benefits and bonuses in addition to their annual salary. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Thank you very much for your time. Left is strong, arm is strong. Good morning. I'm John Rose, and it is my great honor and privilege to represent uh, all of you and the residents of Wilson County and the 6th District, the other 18 counties that comprise the 6th Congressional District of Tennessee. I hail from Cookville and uh, am just beginning my second term, so I'm a sophomore. For those of you who are seniors and graduating, I'm a sophomore in Congress, is, is the way that they're describing it. It is one of the honors of serving in this position, representing you in the U.S. House of Representatives, is that each year uh, I get to consider um, which of the 
young men and women across the 6th District, uh, I will nominate for consideration for appointments to our United States Military Academies. Uh, and that has proven to be one of the most, uh, I guess, interesting and uh, inspiring uh, duties of my job as your representative. Today I am here to recognize a truly remarkable young man, uh, your fellow student, Hayden Belcher. And if Hayden is here, he might make his way forward. We, I have a certificate to present to him. Um, December, uh, we assembled a uh, august panel of uh, luminaries uh, with experience and knowledge about the various branches of our military service to consider the applicants uh, who were seeking nominations to the various military academies. Hayden was one of those students. Uh, after a day of interviews with uh, these military-minded uh, people, uh, they determined that we should nominate Hayden to all three of the academies that he had expressed interest in. And so, in turn, I did nominate uh, Hayden to the U.S. Naval Academy, to the U.S. Uh, Military Academy West Point, and to the United States Air Force Academy. Today, it is my great uh, privilege to tell you that Hayden has received an appointment to all three of these academies. It's my understanding, Hayden, that you plan to uh, you're, you plan to go to the Naval Academy. Is that still your thinking? So uh, I think Hayden, as as some of you uh, may know, wants to be a naval aviator and is planning to attend uh, the United States Naval Academy. Um, this is a number that will perhaps uh, a principal uh, uh, principal Walters. Uh, might not know, but the value, well I should say the value of, a, of that appointment is priceless because you can't purchase it. Uh, they choose you, you don't choose them. And, uh, but the cost, the cost of that education that, um, that Peyton is going to receive at the U.S. Military Academy is currently uh, estimated at $439,029.
understand what diverse what adversity means. I mean, you've gone through a lot. I mean, kudos to the staff, coaches, and everything just to try to make some semblance of a year. Uh, and parents, I, I don't know how you done it. I've been on Zoom meetings and team meetings, and it, it just gets completely shut down. Kids in the background fighting, whatever, you name it. Uh, so I, it's just, again, been an interesting year, a, a lot of adversity. And that's really what this scholarship means to us is, you know, these students, these athletes, you know, just going out in the face of adversity uh, and just doing what they need to do and just getting it done. So with that, um, you have a scholarship.
going to give you some advice. Walk fast um, because it is a long walk from your seat and across everybody and down here. So if you can see the prices of the right, please act like you just want a prize and get down here quickly. Uh, we have a lot of names to read. Uh, Mr. Baker from Wilson Lake and Trust is going to uh, list the names and we're going to put a medal over your head and that is something you can wear at graduation as well. Good morning. Principal Walker, this is about 55 minutes to do this presentation this morning, so stay with me. Uh, first off, I want to thank our, our major sponsor for these uh, Tennessee Scholar Medallions. Obviously, they are not free. Uh, Genesco is a huge partner in our community here in the Lebanon Wilson County area, and it wouldn't have been possible without them, so we certainly thank Genesco. Um, I apologize in advance if I butcher anybody's name, so uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. And if you're here today, just please walk on up. Uh, Mr. Walt Adams. And if you want to hold all applause to the very end, that way we can rush through it. I know there's a lot of scholarships we've got to get through today. Uh, Savannah Barton. Abigail Body. Kylie Brescher. Elijah Carson. Zachariah Coral. Nicole Duke. Amelia Phelps. Lauren G, Haley Brown, Sarah Hazen, Caitlin Hendrick, Catherine Hosey, Reed Kendall, Zachary Marshall, Parker McCall, Jesse Montgomery, I gotta be breaking up today, ain't Pierce Parker. <coughs> Piper Pedigo, Larissa Rodriguez, Kyle Scott, Kayla Sisko, Brenna Tate, Grace Thurman, Caitlin Van, Allison Weaver, Braylon Wolvine. I'm going to do it on the top. Good. Eden Anderson, Dylan Bates, Zachary Bone, Samantha Brasselton, Cadence Clark, Ainsley Corrath, Brady Duncan, Chloe Flesh, Angelina Gilliam, Avery Harris, Jonathan Hendry, Lillian Hibbon, Rachel Hosey, Malia Kirkendall, Kennedy Martin, Talia McCather, Brittany Moore, Abigail Parks, Miranda Phillips, Jonathan Roman, William Seats, Eden Smith, Brayden Taylor, Trinity Todd, Luke Wommel, Ella White, Caroline Wright. We've got about 53 more to go. And by the way, uh, I think I calculated 30% of the graduating class this year are Tennessee scholars. So again, congratulations to all of them. Caroline Partridge, 
Geraldia Peters. Did I get that right? Wesley Shell. Mariana Stafford. Donovan Solbrick. Naj Taylor. John Thomason. You said Nage. It's Nage Taylor. Sorry. Nage. John Thompson, Rebecca Ward, Laurel Willis, we're down to 22. Kendall Arnold, Michelle Birdsong, Julia Boyd, Linda Byers, Katie Cook, Emma Doris, Rebecca Everett, Kennedy Gardner, Philip Griffin, Bailey Hayes, Isabella Hernandez, Emma Hopkins, Marissa Juarez, Brianna Macias, Marcus, Sorry. Anna Delia Martinez, Chloe Moles, Lyndon Palmer, Peter Pearson, Abby Porter. That's the young lady who hit that big shot in the state championship, isn't it? Kaylee Scott, Isabella Simmons, Bailey Steerman. Maddox Thigpen, Carissa Trammell, M M I'm sorry, Michelle Wheaton, and Rory Wilson. I bet our armed forces would love to have this type of lineup outside the doors, signing up for the military. Again, uh, on behalf of the Lebanon Wilson County Chamber of Commerce, our Board of Directors, and the Education Division at the Chamber, uh, we thank all of you for your hard work and your efforts. And I think Genesco, their reasoning behind partner, uh, partnering with us on these specific Tennessee scholar medal presentations uh, isn't about necessarily just the hard work that you do in the classroom or on the athletic fields and courts, uh, but it's more so uh, what each one of you do in the community. Uh, and you might not realize it right now, but it's, it's really important. So once you go off to school or the military or trade school, wherever you go, uh, we hope you return to Lebanon Wilson County to help us all make a difference uh, here in the communities that we serve. So again, on behalf of Genesco and the Lebanon Wilson County Chamber of Commerce, uh, thank you to this year's Tennessee Scholar graduates. And lastly, before I go, uh, uh, Principal Walters, uh, this three speaks testaments to you as well. Uh, Lebanon High School had more Tennessee scholars than any other high school in Wilson County. Congratulations. Thank you. I think one of the coolest things about Tennessee scholars is not just the, the academic side of it, but that each one of them logs 60 hours of community service. So if you do the math there, it's a, a lot of extra hours put into the community, which is why these people like to come and, and recognize students. Uh, next, we are going to uh, recognize the students have perfect attendance this year in a year of uh, quarantines and uh, hybrid learning and remote learning and everyday in the building learning. Uh, it is quite an accomplishment to say that you were in every Zoom meeting in every classroom and here every day and on time on top of that. So uh, this is a big deal. I really appreciate these students. We do have a little a little certificate to say thank you for being here every day. Um, so you can come up and get that. Uh, Kylie Brasher, Caitlin Hinton, Beta Jakowski, Amelia Feltz, Lillian Hinton, Sarah Nagana, Anaya Grant, Rachel Posey, and Nicholas Moulton.
um, a major benchmark on uh, the ACT is um, the 30, the threshold of 30 to a 36 as a composite score. Uh, so we always uh, make a pretty big deal about students who make a 30 or higher on their ACT. It is a big kind of culminating exam they do at the end of high school. It determines a lot as far as where they go to school or how many scholarships they earn uh, when, they, when they go to their various post-secondary uh, organizations after high school. Uh, we put their picture up in the comments. We'll see last year's class still up. Uh, and so we want to recognize them this morning as well. Uh, they work very hard for this. Probably lots of lots of prep, maybe lots of money that have been put into that kind of prep, but uh, uh, pays off for sure. So come on up. We have a little something to give you up here as well. Uh, Tabitha Anderson, Sarah Hazen, Parker McCall, Reese Miller, Pierce Parker, Peter Pearson, Maddox Thickpin, Hayden Belcher, John Heath, Amber LaGrange, uh, she can still be here. Amber, Amber, are you here? She's not here. Thank you. Uh, Brittany Moore, Patrick Riley, Michelle Wheaton, Ella White. <laughs> Aiden Britt. Zach Marshall. Asia Wynn. I know she graduated early, so she's not here. Donovan Solbrick. William Spruill. And Izzy Miller. I believe she's also here on that list, so she's in here. You also see on your program that uh, Talia McCather earned the National Merit Achievement Semifinalist Recognition. It's a very big deal based on her PSAT score. So we have something for you as well, Talia. Please come out here. At this time, we are going to um, do some, some special recognitions, what we call Blue Devil Choice Awards. These are awards given to uh, specific seniors as nominated by the faculty here at Lebanon High. If you went to a school that had like a who's who of the senior class, then that is what this is. Uh, what we have is, uh, when we announce them, a teacher has written a short passage about the student they want to share. Uh, if they're in the room, please come forward. I'll let you read your own your own writing. And if not, then I'll read it for a teacher if they're not able to be here. Uh, we have a plaque to give you uh, as you will please walk across the stage and we'll, we'll read all these great things about you and everybody will cheer you on. Are you, Mr. Wilson, you're coming up as major? I have a couple more. All right. First up, we have Mr. Eli Clemens. Ms. Jennifer Murray had this to say about Eli. He is a commendable choice for the Blue Devils Choice Award. He is charismatic, kind, and a hard worker. Eli is never satisfied with just a good grade that takes notes and edits into consideration in order to continue to improve his work as a student. This is an important aspect of Eli's character in that he never allows himself to stagnate and also does not see criticism as a stumbling block. Instead, Eli's scholarship is built on growth. Eli also engages in classroom discussion with creative insights and intellectual ideas that help further the classroom and prepare
felt the learning experience of his peers both inside and outside of the classroom. Eli represents all that a Blue Devil should aim to be in both spirit and academics. I'm proud to be his teacher.
Mr. Brady wrote this about Julia, the mere definition of perseverance. She's a phenomenal student who goes over and beyond inside and out of the classroom. She loves to make conversation while also finding time for a good laugh with her friends. She continues to put a smile on the many faces of her teachers by hard work and determination to learn. Her willingness to accept challenges and work through obstacles is simply an inspiration to those around her. She continues to set her goals high while working tirelessly to achieve them. There are also, these are all reasons that Jerley is a great representation of a model Consider all sides before providing analysis. 
His ability to look for insight is only matched by his work ethic. He's always shown up every day, whether synchronous or asynchronous, and looks for answers, not excuses. In a year where we've all had lots of questions about the future, Zach has remained focused on his. Students like him make the world better for everyone around him, and it's that attitude at times that has even helped me regain motivation. Zach will be missed at LHS, but our world needs young adults like him. Young adults will strive for multiple perspectives together. Loving and alums across the board should take pride that Zach will represent them in the future. It's for these reasons and many others I can't get into a short piece that I've been privileged to have had Zach in class, and I get to congratulate them on being chosen as a Blue Devils Choice winner. We have two more. Ms. Haley Grime is next. Mr. Zach Martin says the Blue Devil Choice Award recognizes character, leadership, and embracing being a Blue Devil. Haley Grime embodies all of these qualities. With her constant smile and willingness to help anyone, it's obvious that she is filled with the sweet spirit of God and it shows on a daily basis. She never wavers from her faith and beliefs and is a person of high moral character. Her personality and enthusiasm draw people to her and she is a joy to be around. Haley is one of the most organized and responsible students I've encountered in my 17 years of teaching, and she can be relied on to complete any assigned task above and beyond any expectations. Haley loves her school and being a Blue Devil in Lebanon High School, uh, and being a Blue Devil at Lebanon High School is a better place because of her. Haley Brown is a worthy recipient for this year's Blue Devil.
full athletic scholarship, $71,000, 1600 The Tennessee Technological University, Walt Adams, the Golden Opportunity Grant, $3,000. Xander Alexis, Golden Eagle Excellence. Jamie Lloyd, Presidential Scholarship, $12,000. Diego Esparza, High Flyer Scholarship, $12,000, and the Vice President Presidential Grant of $1,000. Rebecca Everett, Tennessee Tech, Golden Opportunity Grant, $6,000, and Abba Anderson Memorial Endowed Business Scholarship of $6,000. Philip Griffin, the High Flyer Scholarship, $12,000. Pierce Parker, High Flyer Scholarship and Vice President's Residential Life Grant of $24,000. Scholarship, $30,000. Carolina Partridge, Academic Scholarship of $1,500. Nicholas Moulton, Golden Opportunity Scholarship of $24,000. Ms. Doors is receiving the Trebecca Leadership Scholarship for $12,000, the Trebecca Academic Scholarship for $12,000, the Agape Endowment Scholarship for $12,000, and the Distinction Scholarship for $10,000 to Trebecca University. At Union University, Jacob Joel is receiving the Merit Scholarship for $10,000. At the University of the Cumberlands, Ms. Kendall Arnold is receiving an Athletic Scholarship. At the University of Memphis, Ms. Kirsten Marion is receiving an Academic Excellence Award for $8,000. At the University of Mississippi, Mr. Aiden Britt is receiving the John G. Adler Engineering and Academic and Athletic Scholarship for $140. $3,000. At the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, Elijah Parsons is receiving the Mock Scholarship for $3,000. Ms. Bailey Hayes is receiving the Chancellor Scholarship for $5,000. Caitlin Hinton is receiving the Mock Scholarship for $3,000. Ms. Faith Cowell is receiving the Provost Scholarship for $16,000. Sydney Lenning is receiving the Mock Scholarship for $3,000. Ms. Alyssa Mather is receiving the Mock Scholarship. Ms. Addie Grace Porter is receiving an Athletic Scholarship for $41,000. And Savannah C. is receiving the Provost Scholarship for $16,000. At the University of Tennessee Knoxville, Turner Heath is receiving the Volunteer Scholarship for $32,000. Isabel Miller is receiving an academic scholarship for $36,000. Piper Pedigo is receiving a band scholarship for $4,000. Lorraine Phillips is receiving the volunteer scholarship for $36,000 and is also a recipient of the TriStar Scholarship. Donovan Silbright is receiving the UT Volunteer Scholarship for $48,000. Maddox Thigpen is receiving the Dale Scholarship for $108,000 in addition to the S.E. Quam Bonum Scholarship for $96,000. Mr. Shaw Beaton is receiving the Volunteer Scholarship for $36,000 the University of Tennessee Knoxville. And LOI is receiving the Volunteer Scholarship for $48,000. At the University of Tennessee Martin, Ms. Kylie Broughton is receiving the Scholarship for $8,000. And at Western Kentucky University, Christian Warden is receiving the Merit, the Cornelius A. Martin, as well as the Border State Scholarship for $36,580. Ms. Asia Hawkins is receiving the Merit, the Cornelius A. Martin, and Border State Scholarship for $36,580. Ms. Anna Eskew is receiving the Border State Scholarship for $12,000. Mia Martin is receiving the Border State Scholarship for $12,600. And Will Spurl is receiving academic merit as well as the WKU Border State Scholarship for $32,000 as well as $63,000 in scholarships.